always said, if you cut Teddy, blood yellow. And he was kind of a pioneer in horsepower. Yeah, most of the tractors he found were in pretty bad shape. They were probably would have been destined to the scrap pile, and, and uh, he salvaged them. And he always he uh, he always saw ahead of what they'd look like after they were done. And it's always kind of amazing because people just couldn't believe when they came in and saw Ted working on this pile of junk that all of a sudden it's sitting on the lawn with a fresh coat of paint and running like a clock. There was a shop foreman over there that he he always talked really high up and he taught Ted a lot. He just caught him right from the ground up. So Ted just kind of progressed from a broom to a crescent wrench and never looked back. Uh, Dolores was, was a real, real pal and a real supporter with Ted and she really promoted him on restoring these things. She was in it 100%. Well, every year at the, on the 4th of July, Rachel puts on a, on a rodeo, and a, it's a, just a big three-day celebration. They always have parades down the street. And Ted, I can remember when Ted first started, and we had just one or two tractors. And before he was done, we had a, almost had a line of tractors from one end of Main Street to the other. And everybody got to the point where they wanted to make sure they got there to see Ted's tractors, no matter what color they were. I want a pink tractor. So we, she got a pink tractor. Yeah, he always said that was his lifelong dream was to go to Peoria. And uh, he said if he died and went to heaven, he hoped he'd just sat by the door and watched as new Caterpillar tractors come out the back door. Hi, Pete. Kyle Music here with GoBidToday.com. Beautiful frame of Idaho. We are proud to announce that we've been hired to liquidate the estate of Ted Phillips. Now, he is a Hall of Fame member and a representative of Caterpillar has actually inducted him into that Hall of Fame. So we do have a few gems on this auction. And the first one we're gonna show you here is this nice Caterpillar R3. Now, to the best of our knowledge, only 59 of these have ever been made. My name is Rick Music, one of the auctioneers uh, on the Ted Phillips auction, and, and today we're going to show you a few of uh, Ted's tractors. The, the oil pools that I have in, in, in back of me here, Ted had a uh, soft spot for, for the oil pools. We've got a bigger one outside, and uh, he really enjoyed the oil pools. Uh, Ted was kind of an innovator on, uh, on diesel engines and horsepower and, and really enjoyed working on them. He, he lived over 90 years old and that's, that's really all he did all his whole life. One of Ted's uh, most, one of his more rare tractors, this Lesman, there's not a lot of these that's been saved from the scrap pile and, and Ted saved this one and he really enjoyed uh, uh, working on this tractor. Ted was a, Ted was a, a diesel mechanic and he, he worked as a, uh, under the cat dealership for many years, but the cat dealership in Grangeville was also the John Deere dealer. And so uh, Ted had a lot of opportunity to work on John Deere tractors. And he really enjoyed uh, working on the, on the John Deere tractors as collectibles. Okay, okay Ted was a uh, equal opportunity restorer. He's got uh, the co-op, he's got Minneapolis uh, Moline, McCormick Daring, Ferguson, and you can see a case, and the case was painted pink for his granddaughter. She wanted a pink tractor, so he, he painted it pink for her. Ram Trucks, premier vehicle of Machinery Peak TV.